Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is the fourth lecture of this tree and queries, uh, queries on tree series. And we were solving the problem tree and queries. In the previous lecture, I've shown you half of the part, or I've shown you, in, in fact, the implementation how we would solve this problem. But there was a problem, and in the function get answer, this function was the reason why we were getting TLE. Uh, I'm kind of uh, disappointed with you guys. Some of the guys ask in the question that uh, this, the, the link to the solution or link to the code that I have given is given uh, is giving TLE, and I do not know why was that question there in the first place. Because in the lecture I clearly mentioned that if you would uh, submit the same solution as I am providing in the description then you are going to get TLE. I clearly mentioned that and I also mentioned the reason why it would happen. It would happen because of this function because this function runs is, uh, runs in roughly uh, big of n time. So the overall complexity of the algorithm would become uh, q into n plus q into square root of n which is roughly q into n which is way uh, which would go way past the uh, time limit. I also told you guys since we want the sum from k to n to use some of the uh, range sum queries like segmentary n and uh, square root composition and this was given to you as an exercise so so that you guys can learn as much as, as possible you won't be learning as much if I just uh, jumped into editor and start solving the problem you won't learn as much as you can if you try to solve the problem yourself I do not know whether you guys watch the whole video or not it doesn't matter whether you whether you watch at 2x speed or or, or x speed it doesn't matter just just try to try to watch the complete video at least because there are important concepts you might miss I clearly mentioned that this would run as a TLE this would result into TLE I, I, I showed you guys here that if you if you guys submit uh, if you guys would submit the solution you are going to get TLE on test 13 clearly said that and the reason was this function since we wanted to get some from k to n we are using a linear uh, loop that is why the overall complexity is roughly q into n so you are going to get TLE of course I ask you guys to uh, try to re uh, reduce the time complexity of this function so nevertheless let's continue i do not know what you guys do just let's continue so the problem was this function because this runs in roughly big of n time and in each query we need uh, after all performing all of the operations of standard mohs algorithm what we were doing we were actually uh, calling this function get answer function so uh, this get answer, get answer function will be called q times because there are q queries so the overall and the get answer function runs in big of n times so the overall complexity is q into n plus q into square root of n because of mos so our end goal is to reduce time complexity of this function this function what it does it simply runs from k to n and uh, as you can see it does nothing but takes the sum of ff function which is frequent uh, frequency array frequency of frequency array from k to n so we are doing nothing but uh, taking some from k to n right so to reduce this first i thought to use a uh, segmentary and that is what i did and this is the result you see uh, tle on 53rd test case i tried to remove the tle uh, i thought because it is because of some constant optimization that i'm leaving behind so i tried to optimize it and couldn't do that but uh, couldn't do that of course and the reason is this see the overall complexity of of most algorithm is this let me just increase the font size so you guys yeah q into square root of n where q are the queries and n is the total number of elements right so q into a square root of n is the standard most algorithm uh, but if you are going to use segmentary on ff array so you need to update segmentary each time ff array gets updated so ff array will get updated every time you call remove or add function roughly every time uh, and how many times that the add and remove functions are called see uh, whenever 
your pointer moves either it is left pointer or right pointer you see whenever a pointer moves uh, we are calling add or remove function the overall complexity of q into square root of n of most algorithm is because of the movement of the pointers so we can assume that there are q into square root of n number of movements in each movement we need to update the uh, ff array in the segmentary right so there are these many update operation so if there are these many op update operation the overall complexity would be this into log of n reason these many updates each update takes log n time in segmentary so the overall complexity would become q into square root of n into log n so this is the reason i was getting tle because now we are getting uh, we are getting extra uh, log n factor in the solution but if you try to solve the problem using square root composition i mean if we try to take the sum this using square root composition the overall complexity would be q into just a second q into square root of n because of mos plus in each time we are calling this get answer function so our get answer function would be called q times and we know uh range sum query using sec uh using uh what we call it square root composition takes a square root of n time so this would be the overall complexity q into square root f of n plus q into square root of n which is roughly two times two times q into square root of n which is asymptotically q into square root of n so you see we are now not getting an extra log n factor the log n factor the extra log n factor comes because we are up, we need to update uh, we need to call segmentary update each time uh, a pointer moves and these many pointer movements are there the whole complexity of most algorithm is because of the movements of the pointers and this is the whole complexity and this is because of the uh, movement of pointers so roughly these many times you need to update the segmentary so that is why an extra log n factor would be added but when we are using a uh, square root composition the update runs in a uh, constant time because if anything in the f array changes then at the corresponding uh, index in the bucket array you, you know we keep two arrays if you haven't seen the if you do not know square root decomposition range query just go and watch that lecture because if you don't know that there is no point to be here because most uh, seg, uh, square root decomposition is basis of most algorithm and most algorithm is basis of this thing that we are studying that is square uh, square root uh, most algorithm on trees so what we do whenever uh, uh, we want uh, range sum of f array then we keep one more array the bucket array which keeps the sum of each bucket right of f array so if uh, uh, at this index we are changing f array is being updated at this index then the corresponding bucket should also be updated that can be done in constant time so in uh, we are uh, able to update the bucket array in constant time while in the segmentary it was it was taking log in time right so that is the reason why the complexity is better in this case if we use square root decomposition and that is what we are going to do so i'm not going to explain square root decomposition in this lecture of course because i have already done that and if i'm going to uh, if if i do that in this lecture of course the the lecture video is going to be too long and we cannot afford that of course so you see everything is same uh let me just change this to vector of int otherwise some of you uh some guys may get confused the vi is simply vector of int i use is, uh uh this these thing uh i do not know what we call these things uh just leave this uh so vi is vector of int everything is same except this new array the bucket array so this keeps uh, uh, the sum of each bucket of f array because we want the sum of uh, f f array in square root of n time of course we will apply square root decomposition on this so this bucket would keep the sum of the uh, each bucket of f f array so bucket size currently or block size is currently 600 and you, you might see that okay in the previous lectures was 700 doesn't matter you can uh, keep it as 700 and i don't think every uh, anything is going to change now, uh, now, uh, if you remember from the square root composition uh, lecture, of course, uh, especially the range sum, 
lecture what we do whenever there is a change in f array at some index or uh, before that get block so get block returns the block in which the ith index lies so uh, suppose the block size for now is suppose the block size is say 10 right so from element from 1 to 10 lie in the first block right element from uh, 11 to 20 lie in the second blocks and so on right so this function returns the block in which the ith index lies so if i give you uh, okay in which block does the element 32 lies of course it lies in the uh, fourth block right this lies in the third this lies in the second uh, third block indices are from 21 to 30 this lies in the fourth block so how you get it uh, it is simple just take the index plus add block minus one block is 10 so add 9 if you add 9 it would become uh, 41 divided by block size so that is how you calculate the block of a certain index when you are working with one base index system if you are working with zero ba base index system it is very easy uh, if you are working with zero base index system then from 0 to 9 elements lie in the zeroth block right how you get it you simply divide index by block size so any number when divided from 0 to 9 when divided by 10 would result into 0 any number from 10 to 19 when divided by 10 would result into 1 which which indicates that index lies in the first block since i am working in one base sorry <coughs> since we are working in one base uh, index system so for that to get the index or uh, to get the block of current index idx all you do, you do take index plus add block minus one and divide it by block so this way you get the uh, in block block number of that element so you see whenever f array is being updated f array is being updated at this index right so at uh, for this index the corresponding block in the bucket array must be updated as well so get block would return the block of this index right and then at that place we would also add one since f is being uh, updated by one at this index so the corresponding block in the bucket array must be updated as well this i have already explained in the square root composition lecture so i'm not going to explain here now ff array is being decreased by one at index this so the corresponding block must be updated as well so in the bucket array at this block we are decre uh, decreasing it similarly in the remove function as well ff array is being updated at this index so the corresponding block is being updated as well uh, ff array is being updated at this index so the corresponding block in the bucket is also being updated so this is the these are the two changes there are three changes for now first we have added the bucket array second uh yeah we have introduced a get block function which basically returns the block size uh, sorry the block in which the ith index belong, belongs then we have updated add and remove to update bucket finally the get answer now uh, we want the answer from k to n i want you to implement the range sum query on your own using the square knowledge of square decomposition that you have studied otherwise this is how we do it we initialize result with zero and get the left and the right block of k and n if they both lie in the same block the the k and n lie in the same block then we can run a simple loop from k to n because uh, since both lie in the same block then what would happen uh, uh, the block size is square root of n of course so this loop won't run more than uh, won't uh, perform more than a uh, square root of n operation that is why we, we are we can safely run a, uh, run a loop from k to n after that uh, if that is not the case then the left and the right pointer lie in the different block then we do what we do in square root decomposition uh, that we have studied in the square root decomposition we start from k go uh, till uh, the till the left block the index of the left block then left block plus one uh, this is uh, traversal index by index this is traversal block by block you see i is the left block plus one and goes till uh, less than right block so this is traversal block by block and we are taking the sum from the block uh, the bucket itself and this is again uh, index by index traversal 
so the, uh, all of this i have explained in the square root composition video if you would see that you would understand this code pretty easily so finally result contains the result of uh, or the sum of the f array from k to n and that's all i have changed nothing at all from the rest of the code so if you run this code and let's run this on this test case sorry you see 22101 so 22101 i have also submitted the same code again here 27 april so and got ac so i am giving the link of this submission this time and uh, you guys can check out this solution if you have any doubts or query i am going to create a a thread or an article on discuss.codechef.com a link of that article i will also post in the description of the video so if you have any doubts or query just go and ask there so that other developers other programmers can also help or uh, don't ask in the uh, comment section of this video okay so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you